class 10 children today we will learn mensuration portion chapter 15 three dimensional solids and you have one good news here like in this reduced syllabus this time you need to learn only cone and cylinder so sphere has been removed from the reduced syllabus so in that case only you are learning cone and cylinder so let us first begin the formula of cone and cylinder so first of all here uh, you should know that r is the radius of a cone and h is the height and l is the slant height now you have to see here in the diagram this kind of shapes uh, you have found like you can see one cap which is uh, normally called joker's cap so cap is a conical shape and even you have seen uh, ice cream one cover ice cream cap in which uh, what happens such kind of shapes you might have seen so these kind of shapes are called cone that is conical shape or cone so in this cone this portion is called height so here it is written h and this actually slanting position this is called l slant height so here also you can see this is slant height and this straight portion is height and radius is like this is a circle on the bottom at the down level it is a, a circle so from this center to the boundary level is called radius so based on this h l and r some formulas are there let us begin so slant height of a cone that is l l equal to h square plus r square root over actually if you see h l and r it is a right angle triangle and in right angle triangle we can use pythagoras theorem like l you can see it is a hypotenuse and hypotenuse is actually perpendicular square plus base square and root over so same thing here perpendicular has been uh, has been taken by h the place has been taken by h and the place of base has been taken by r so based on that knowledge it is a pythagoras theorem so we can say l slant height equal to h square plus r square root over now from the same formula we can also write h equal to l square minus r square root over and r equal to l square minus h square so from this one formula we can derive two more formulas now number two curved surface area of a cone now i will say you what is curved surface area of a cone suppose in this concept if this lower portion that is this circular portion is open then in that case such kind of uh, solid such kind of uh, cone is called curved surface that means in that case what happens like in joker's cap the portion where we put head it is open so that portion if it is open it is curved surface area but if it is blocked like in ice cream what happens the ice cream is filled in the inside this uh, cone and on the top actually it is locked that means blocked so when it is in a block form it is called total surface area but when it is open it is called curve surface area so curve surface area is pi rl pi that is 22 by 7 r is radius and l is slant height next number three total surface area of cone so total surface area i told you when this lower bottom portion is blocked that is if there is a uh, it is covered with some kind of lead in here on the this portion then it is total surface area so on that case you have to write the formula like this pi r l plus pi r square like pi r l actually is the portion uh, the all around portion is called pi r l because here we learn pi r l and pi r square that is the area of a circle because the lower portion is circle so from these two combined values if I take pi and r common, then here in my bracket it will be L plus r. And volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So r and h is very important in your volume. And here in the curved surface area, L is very important and r is very important. Whereas there is no h required here. Now, next I will teach you cylinder because this is very important. Like cylinder means uh, you, you can say that a gas cylinder you can even say uh, the pipe but uh, what is difference between gas cylinder and uh, pipe 
in gas cylinder the upper portion and the lower portion will be blocked that will be the lid will be put it is not open but in pipe both the regions are open so pipe will be called as curved surface area and the cylinder gas cylinder will be called total surface area this is the difference between curved surface and total surface area so here also r will be the radius and here h will be the height height or even length also it is called so curved surface area is 2 pi r h and total surface area is 2 pi r inside the bracket h plus r and volume of cylinder is pi r square h almost same here there is 1 by 3 but here 1 by 3 is missing pi r square h and volume of hollow cylinder now volume of hollow cylinder what is this hollow cylinder i want to show you one diagram like if the wall is very thick then this kind of cylinder is called hollow cylinder in this what will happen one r will be from internal part to the outer part and one will be from inner part to inner only so one will be capital r one will be small r so when there is a thick wall one more diagram i will show you here if the wall is very thick then one r comes from here and then goes on the outer part it is capital r that is it is called outer radius and one starts inside and ends inside the wall that is smaller r inner radius so that kind of uh, cylinder is called hollow cylinder and volume of such cylinder is almost same pi is same but here in r square we have to write capital r square minus small r square bracket close into h so these were the formulas children now based on these formulas the formula of cone and the formula of cylinder i will do some question for you now i have done one question i have made one question ready for you a solid right circular copper cone now very long sentence solid right circular copper cone but ultimately it is cone so that means it is all about cone cone of height 15 centimeter and radius 6 centimeter is melted so it is melted and recast into a smaller copper cone so from cone cone only made but a larger cone is melted and made smaller cone so very large large cone it was melted a very large single large cone was melted and so many smaller cones were made and the height of the smaller cone is 3 centimeter and radius is 2 centimeter how many smaller cones can be can be made so from a single larger cone how many so there are so many smaller cones so how many cones can be made so now here one thing i want to say you like suppose there is a tank whose capacity is 500 liter and there is a jug whose capacity is 5 liter suppose i told you you have to fill the tank with the help of jug so you will bring the water in jug and pour it in the tank so how many jugs of water will be required then what you do number of jugs required will be the total volume by volume of the jug so 500 by 5 that is 100 times so you have to carry the water in a jug 100 times so you divide here same thing when there is a larger cone and when you are making a smaller cone so what you need to do to find the number of smaller cones the number of smaller cones to be made the formula will be volume of bigger cone by volume of smaller cone so this was an example to show you so now volume of larger cone just now i told you that the volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h so now volume of larger cone or smaller cone will be same but what i will do 1 by 3 pi r square h 1 by 3 pi r square h but here i will use capital r and capital h here i will use small r and small h why because bigger cone and smaller cone bigger means bigger letters smaller means smaller letters but formula is same now 1 by 3 1 by 3 is same pi pi is same now only these values we will put actually capital r here you can see radius is 6 and height is 15 so 6 into 6 into 15 because r square means 6 into 6 and here 2 into 2 into 3 means actually radius is smaller one radius is 2 and height is 3 so that's why 2 into 2 into 3 so after cancellation 45 cones so 45 cones can be made with the uh, larger cone when it is melted one more question i want to do for you 
a hollow cylinder. Just now I said when there is a thick wall, such kind of cylinder is called hollow cylinder. So there is a hollow cylinder copper pipe. Okay, it is made with copper, and it is uh, its uh, length. It is 21 decimeter long. Long actually means it is height. The length of the cylinder is 21 decimeter. That means height of the cylinder cop uh, uh, cylinder hollow cylinder height of the hollow cylinder is actually 21 decimeter if its outer and inner diameter are 10 centimeter and 6 centimeter respectively outer diameter means from outside to outside if you take it is actually 10 centimeter and from inside to inside if you take it is 6 centimeter so diameter but since we need radius so we will convert diameter into radius now find the volume of copper, that means you have to find the volume of hollow cylinder. So height is uh, uh, actually denoted by letter H, it is 21 decimeter. But since the radius is in centimeter and height is in decimeter, so I am converting decimeter into centimeter. So we will multiply by 10, it becomes centimeter, it is 210 centimeter. So now 21 decimeter became 210 uh, centimeter. Outer radius will be 10 by 2 because the outer diameter is 10 so diameter if you divide by 2 it becomes radius so 10 by 2 and inner radius will be 6 by 2 because the inner diameter is 6 so we have to divide the radi uh, diameter by 2 it becomes radius so now I can use the formula the volume of copper used in making the pipe as per the demand of the question the same sentence I am using here just now I taught you the formula here just now this particular formula for holo cylinder same formula I am using here so pi 22 by 7 capital R is 5 5 square minus small r is 3 3 whole square as there is small bracket went inside so outer bracket will be capital uh, the uh, second bracket so internal is first bracket and height is 210 so 5 square 25 3 square 9 25 minus 9 is 16 after cancellation here if you multiply these two 352 into 30 10,560 centimeter cube. So very interesting chapter children. Try to watch this video and try to understand the concept. Thank you children.